In this video, I'm going to share a little bit about how the voice of God can come through any form, can come through any person in any way, shape, or form with any voice, no matter what they look like, no matter how famous or not famous they are. And specifically, I'm going to talk about a vision I had where the voice of God came through Kanye West's voice. <laughs> I'm going to just start talking about some of the visions that I've had in plant medicine ceremonies. And I know from another YouTube channel that I have where I do interviews with people from all walks of life, um, but with a lot of people that work with plant medicine ceremonies that sometimes YouTube restricts it because um, it is not legal in some places of the world. So just for the record, I am currently based in Peru where... Um, working with many plant medicines is perfectly legal. It's part of the cultures there. And um, yeah, <laughs> so YouTube, don't ban this. Don't hide it either. Don't shadow ban. Don't do any of that. Please, thanks. So um, the vision that I wanted to share about is one that came in a ceremony. It was, I believe, in 2015. Um, I write down notes of all of my ceremonies uh, in my journals. And for me, sometimes you're just so deep in the ceremony. You're so deep in the vision that you don't even realize that you're in it. Kind of like when you're dreaming where you're just, you're just so in it that you don't even realize that you're dreaming and you're asleep until you wake up. And so for me, this one vision, I was so deep in it. And when I sort of woke up or came back to, um, this present consciousness in this world, uh, I remembered, oh my gosh, I had asked about the voice of God and what I heard was Kanye's voice. Yeah. Kanye West, his voice was actually speaking the word of God. And again, this is in 2015. I'm not, I haven't been a particularly huge fan. Um, I, I'd say that I respect him and, and like a lot of his work, but, um, you know, I'm no mega fan. I'm not someone who like worships him or thinks that he's uh, amazing, but I found it really interesting that the vision that I had with, and this was on ayahuasca, was that the voice of God was through his voice in the vision. And it was so crystal clear that when I woke up, I was like, wow, did I really, it, I really just heard that the voice of God was speaking through Kanye's voice. And so for me personally, it was not a surprise or it wasn't strange when I saw later on in the news that um, he may have founded a church or that he was doing a weekly church service. Um, to me, it just made total sense. And realizing that, you know, individuals and humans that are here, like we can all be voices of God. We can all channel the truth through us if we want to. And that some people maybe are more open or, or more clear to be able to channel that more directly. Also, uh, yeah, he's been in the news recently because he is apparently running for president. I don't know if that is still happening or not. Um, and then also that he was that he's been having mental problems and that he has uh, bipolar disorder or something to that effect. And when I saw that, I just I just laugh because it is highly possible that he might be just spitting some truths. He might actually be saying something that's worthwhile and that's real. And that the sort of ego backlash to, to the truth sometimes is, oh, you're crazy. Um, oh, you're insane. Um, you must have some disorder. You must have some mental disorder. So let's lock that up or let's keep that behind closed doors because no one wants to hear that because it sounds crazy. Well, you know what? Uh, I think that a lot of things in this world are reversed and that a lot of the things that we say are normal and that is what we have considered normal is actually totally insane and vice versa. And uh, I've also been in the position where um, to me, I know that what I'm sharing or what I'm saying rings completely true. And that there are certain people around me that have uh, also not, they just couldn't comprehend or couldn't understand some of the things that I was saying. So then their first thought is, oh, she must be crazy. 
she must be actually insane or, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I was 14, um, I was forced to go to a mental hospital to have myself checked out because, um, the people around me couldn't understand. They just couldn't understand me or couldn't communicate with me in a way that made sense to them. So, um, I was kind of forced to go there to be evaluated and it was terrifying. And I was there, um, they had told me initially just, you know, a couple of hours for an evaluation. It ended up being overnight. And then after that overnight, then they kept extending it to a week. And by the end of the week, they had no conclusions of any, they, they found no mental disorders. And to me, that was such a, an eye-opening experience because to me, like I knew myself, I knew myself, I knew who I was. And I also could recognize that not everybody thinks the way that I do and not everybody can see what I see. And um, that actually taught me to be very careful about the things that I share. Um, because if it's too far out there sometimes, then people perceive that in a way as a threat or they perceive it as um, something they don't wanna see or they don't wanna hear. And so I'm actually for the first time <laughs> and that would be over 20 years after uh, that time that I was sent to the mental hospital where I'm being brave enough and realizing that I'm not afraid anymore, um, that I have some things that I need to share. I've had some uh, visions and I've had some experiences that have shown me things um, and I feel that it is time for the collective to start to see some of these things and start to um, do a little bit more introspection and to be able to make these mental shifts and these mental leaps in order to, um, in a way, sort of advance and move forward collectively. So uh, I just had to share this, that one vision. Uh, and that was just, you know, one part of one vision. And I've had over a hundred ayahuasca ceremonies and several hundred plant ceremony, plant medicine ceremonies in general. You know, I know that there's a lot more that I would like to share, but I just had to share um, because it's too funny to me that, that the voice of God came through Kanye. And um, I find it really fascinating to see how the world is responding to, to him that some people think that it's a big joke. Um, and in a way, you know, everything in this world is kind of funny when you look at it from a cosmic humor perspective. I think that something that that vision showed me is to be open to realizing that the voice of God can come through anybody, can come through any single person, the person that you might most expect, but it can also come through the person that you might least expect or anyone in between. And so it's not up to us to judge or to decide what the voice of, of God should sound like or who it should flow through. You know, we can hear the voice of God through anything and anyone if we're open enough, if our hearts are open enough. For me, ayahuasca and the visions that I have gotten and the messages I've gotten through ayahuasca have been amazing and also really funny. I'll share another story. I remember I had this huge judgment against particular Australian accents. And it was only when people do this thing where um, their voice goes up, like there's an inflection as if they're asking a question, but they're really saying a statement. And I can't do it exactly, but um, there was a period of time where that just like really irritated me and I don't know why but it was there and anytime I would hear it around me I would judge it so much and I would feel so bad about it because I was just like oh I can't believe it. you know it's like the nails to chalkboard kind of feeling for me at the time and so one of the first ayahuasca ceremonies or one of the first visions that came in one ceremony was um I, I took I took the first dose and um, soon after the voice of ayahuasca, like ayahuasca talks to me um, and her voice was in that exact accent. 
and did the exact same inflection thing. And I just laughed immediately because I knew that what ayahuasca was trying to show me was to the ridiculousness of judging what it implies when someone talks like that. And, um, you know, if I really want to hear the teachings, uh, learn the lessons that I can get from ayahuasca or from uh, whatever vehicle that um, messages of truth are coming through, then I have to be open to be able to hear it through any voice, any voice, any person, no matter what they look like, no matter what they sound like, no matter how old or young they are, to just let go of our own, my own defenses in being close to hearing messages of love and messages of God through anybody. So there you have it. All in all, to me, the vision that I had and the lessons that I got from it, from not just the vision with Kanye, but also the one where ayahuasca came in the form of that Australian accent. To me, the big lesson is to be open to hearing the voice of God through anybody and that our own judgments against other people is really the only thing that blocks us from hearing the voice of God through everyone. So thank you for watching and bye for now. Mm -hmm.